the Annapurna, one of the 48 to Zander and one of the dead list. In this video we will watch the classic climb from the north side, the first ever made by the French expedition and subsequently still used today as a, a conventional road to the summit. You won't need the crampons. Simply sit back and get ready to climb an A to Zander. The Annapurna region is one of the Nepal's most popular trekking areas. However, the famous Annapurna circuit passes the south side of the mountain, while the normal road to base camp goes up to its north side, with much less attractive surroundings. Mountaineers describe base camp as one of the best. It's warm, lower than other base camps, and completely safe. Even when it snows, the ground dries up so quickly. From base camp, the early going is on rock and sand. The accession is a bit exposed to rockfall, but it soon goes up again to what's called crampon point. Then you gain altitude up a mid-hill-like walk that is pretty safe. However, conditions change from day to day. In dry condition, you can get to camp one in sneakers. Camp 1 is typically used only for a first rotation and to carry loads. Most climbers skip it on their following trips up, including on the summit push. The way goes up a huge plateau filled with crevasses that you need to avoid until the upper end. It feels like walking up a white, white blanket of snow. You go over small bumps and orient air through the crevasses until you get the base of Annapurna's proper face. Kenchu is wide, on snow, but not so safe. Even Kenchu is not a great place to spend too long. We will see why. The session between Kenchu and the camp tree is the crux of the climb. The road sneaks on road terrain right below the Serax above you. Constantly, chunks of ice fall and they can trigger avalanches. The most dangerous avalanche prone zone is between Camp 2 and Camp 3. Here the road crosses a huge plateau toward the face, right below the overhanging Serax along the so-called Sikol. Arriving at the barracks ground at the base of the wall, the road climbs up on the left atop a spur. This gets climbers out of the reach of the powder snow avalanches. From the spur, the road continues up some of the most technical sections of the road. There are 50 angle step ramps, with some short sections of 70. This requires all of you stamina to overcome and reach camp tree. This session is short and straightforward. Up snow ramps without big exposure from falling Serax. But there is the possibility of avalanches. It's only 400 vertical meters, but not so direct. You need to climb to the left, navigating among Serax and crevasses. At 7,000 meters, Camp 4 is low enough for a good slip, which is essential before the summit push. You must set off from Camp 4 around midnight. The climb involves gaining 1,000 vertical meters. From Camp 4, the road follows obvious easy ramps, then mounts at rib to the right. The rib can be rocky or mixed terrain, if a wind swept. Eventually, you get to the summit ridge at 10 am. From the summit, you return to Camp 4 for the night, and next day to Camp 2. 
and the next day again to the base camp. The most dangerous descent is from country to Camp Chu. In spring 2021, a record of 67 climbers reached the summit of Annapurna. The record required a huge logistic operation involving high real supplies to Camp 4, heavy use of supplementary oxygen, and a good deal of luck with the weather and conditions. Many summiters then called a helicopter ride to Daulagiri to go for a second summit. Some in the climbing community were critical. Do they really think they climbed Annapurna? Definitely not the true Annapurna, they said. Subscribe, share and see you next video.